Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about Azure Synapse Analytics top interview questions and answers. What is Azure Synapse Analytics? Azure Synapse is Azure SQL Data Warehouse Evolved. Azure Synapse is a limitless analytics service that brings together enterprise data warehousing and big data analytics. It gives us the freedom to query data on our terms using either serverless on demand or provisioned resources at scale. Enterprise analytics must work at massive scale on any kind of data, whether it is raw, refined, or highly curated. This typically requires enterprises to stitch together big data and data warehousing technologies into complex data pipelines that work across data in relational stores and data lakes. Azure Synapse is an integrated analytics service that accelerates time to insight across data warehouses and big data systems. Azure Synapse brings together the best of SQL technologies used in enterprise data warehousing, Spark technologies used for big data, and pipelines for data integration and ETL ELT purpose. What is dedicated SQL pool in Azure Synapse Analytics? Azure Synapse Analytics is an analytics service that brings together enterprise data warehousing and big data analytics that we just discussed. Dedicated SQL pool refers to the enterprise data warehousing features that are available in Azure Synapse Analytics. It is formally called SQL Data Warehouse. Dedicated SQL pool represents a collection of analytic resources that are provisioned when using Synapse SQL. The size of a dedicated SQL pool is determined by data warehousing units. We will discuss about what is data warehouse units later in this module. So once our dedicated SQL pool is created, we can import big data with simple polybase uh, transact quer uh, SQL queries and then use the power of the distributed query engine to run high performance analytics. As we integrate and analyze the data, dedicated SQL pool will become the single version of truth our business can count on for faster and more robust insight. What is hash distribution? A hash Distributed table can deliver the highest query performance for joins and aggregations on large tables. To share data into a hash distributed table, a hash function is used to assign each row to one distribution. In the table definition, one of the column is designated as the distribution column. The hash, hash function uses the values in the distribution column to assign each row to a distribution. If we look at the diagram, we can see that each row belongs to one distribution and also a determinist hash algorithm assigns each row to one distribution. The number of table rows for distribution varies as shown by the different sizes of table. And for all large tables or production fact tables, Hash distribution is the best uh, distribution. It, it, it improves our query performance. So the Azure recommends hash distribution for large and a uh, lot of joining. If the table has a lot of joining, so Azure recommends this hash distribution. What is round robin distribution? A round robin table is the simplest table to create and del delivers fast performance when we use as a staging table for loads. A round robin distributed table distributes data evenly across the table, but without any further optimization. If we talk about as distribution, each row belongs to one distribution, and also there is a hash algorithm assigns each row to one distribution. But in round robin, a distributed table distributes data evenly across the table, but, but without any further optimization. A distribution is first chosen at random and then buffers of rows are assigned to distribution sequentially. And round robin distribution is 
quick to load data into a round robin table, but query performance can often be better with edge distributed tables. Joins on round robin tables require reshuffling data, which takes additional time. So if we are if we are loading data into staging table, round robin is the best distribution. If we if we are loading data into a large table that has a lot of joins, if if it is a flat table, then hash distribution is the best. What is a replicated distribution? A replicated table provides the fastest query performance for small tables. A table that is replicated caches a full copy of the table on each computer node. Consequently, replicating a table removes the need to transfer data among compute nodes before a join or aggregation. Replicated tables are best utilized with small tables. For, for small tables under 200 JB, uh, under, under 200 JB, replicated distribution is the best. For staging tables, round robin is the best. For fact tables or large joint tables, hash distribution is the best. What are data warehouse units? A Synapse SQL pool represents a collection of analytic resources that are being provisioned. Analytic resources are defined as a combination of CPU, memory, and IO. These three resources are bundled into units of compute scale called data warehouse units. A data warehouse represent a data warehouse unit represents an abstract normalized measure of compute resources and performance for higher performance we can increase the number of data warehouse unit for less performance we can reduce the data warehouse units storage and compute costs are built separately so changing data warehouse units does not affect storage cost Let's talk about uh, how does it help increasing data warehouse units? How does it help the system performance? So increasing data warehouse units linearly changes performance of the system for scans, aggregation, and CTAS statements. Increasing data warehouse units increases the number of readers and writers for polybase load operations. And also increasing data warehouse units increases the maximum number of concurrent queries and concurrency flow. How to change data warehouse units? We can change data warehouse units using any of these options, Azure Portal, PowerShell, T-SQL, or REST APIs. So how do we change using Azure Portal? We can just log into Azure Portal and when we go to that uh, Synapse overview page, we can see a scale under the scale. We can um, change the data warehouse unit settings. And if you are using PowerShell, then we can just um, run a command set, whatever uh, database name, set AZ SQL database and database name, server name, and requested service objective name. If you are using T-SQL, we just have to say alter database and database name, modify service objective, and REST APIs also, we can do that, put HTTP, whatever the web you have. How to take status of data warehouse unit changes. We can connect to the master database associated with our server and run the query. We can also check in sys databases for database state and uh, sys.dm operation status for operation. So you can use any of the tools that um, you can connect to this master database, SSMS or Synapse Studio, or we, we can also use that query editor in Azure portal to check the status of data warehouse units. What is the best distribution option to load data into a staging table in Azure, DNA, Azure Synapse? So we just discussed about round robin distribution, how the round robin distribution works. A round robin table is the simplest table to create and delivers fast performance when used as a staging table for load. A round robin distributed table distributes data evenly across the table but without any further optimization. 
So round round a distribution is first chosen at random, and then buffers of rows are assigned to distributions sequentially. So the round robin is the quick to load data into a round robin table, but query performance can often be better with as distributed table. What are the best practices for Synapse SQL polling in Azure Synapse Analytics? It reduces cost with pass and scale. So if we are if we uh, if we have a dedicated SQL pool or any SQL pool, so on the weekends we don't have to run. So we can just log into Azure portal and we can um, choose path. And when we come back on Monday and we can um, we can uh, run it again. And also we can uh, reduce cost with this uh, scaling if we don't have. Uh, uh, more units, data warehouse units, we can uh, reduce it. So, and also maintaining statistics. So after each load, that uh, collect statistics are recommended, and group insert statements into batches, and also use polybase to load and export data quickly. So there are there are some modules available in my channel how to load data using polybase. How to load data into Azure Synapse using Polybase. Please um, go through that module to learn about Polybase, how it works. And also choose a distribution, right distribution uh, for large tables, uh, for fact tables, for a uh, lot of jo uh, more joining tables, use as distribution. For staging table, choose uh, round robin. For uh, tables under 200 GP, uh, choose a replicated distribution and also do not over partition minimize transaction sizes and reduce query result size and if we are running complex queries just try to break that into small queries and use the smallest possible column size use temporary heap tables for transient data what is copy statement? So we can bulk load data into our dedicated SQL pool using the simple and flexible copy statement for high throughput data ingestion. So there is one module available in my channel. So how to load data into this SQL pool using copy statement. So please go through that module. So you will learn how to load the data using copy statement into Azure. So we can bulk load data into our dedicated SQL pool using this copy statement for high throughput data ingestion. What is the advantage of pass and resume compute in Synapse SQL pool? So we just discussed to reduce cost, we can pass and resume compute resources on demand. For example, if we won't be using the database during the night and on weekend, uh, exam, uh, Saturday and Sunday, we can pass it during those times and resume it during the day. So it saves us a uh, uh, lot of money. So we don't have to pay on the weekends because we are just uh, past the, the SQL pool. And when we come back, uh, we can um, resume it again. But if we have long weekends or holidays, so if we don't want to do, if we don't want our SQL a pool running, then we can always pass it. So it is one of the advantage of pass and resume compute in Synapse SQL pool. What is Polybase? Polybase enables our SQL Server instance to process transact SQL queries that read data from external data sources. SQL Server 2016 and higher can access external data in Hadoop and Azure Blob Storage. Starting in SQL Server 2019, we can now use Polybase to access external data in SQL Server, Oracle, Teradata, and MongoDB. So why do we use Polybase? Polybase allows us to join data from a SQL Server instance with external data. Prior to Polybase to join data to external data sources, we could either transfer off of our data so that all data was in one location and query both sources of data then write custom query logic to join and integrate the data at the client level. Polybase allows us to simply use Transact SQL to join the data. Polybase doesn't require us to install additional software to our Hadoop environment. We query external data by using the 
the same T-SQL syntax used to query a database table. So if you want to learn about Polybase, please go to, please go through my channel. There is one uh, module available about this Polybase, how to load data into Azure Synapse using Polybase. Please go through that module. And how, uh, last one, how to connect to and query a SQL pool. So we can use any of these tools to connect and to query a SQL pool. We can use Visual Studio and SSDT, and we can also use this SQL Server Management Studio. We can use SQL Command. We can also use Azure Portal. When you log into Azure Portal, go to uh, overview under on the left, you can see a query editor uh, option. Click on that and log into SQL pool, and you can connect and query query against the database. So, so far in this module, we discussed about um, Azure Synapse Analytics stop into your questions and answers. If you have any questions, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.